Hey, in this lesson, we're going to talk about two more open chords, one major chord and one minor chord. If you remember from last lesson, our major chords are made up of the root, the third, and the fifth interval of a major scale. The minor chord is made up of the root, flat third, and fifth of a major scale. So we're, today we're going to talk about C major and A minor. So let's start with C major. So to find the notes in a C major chord, we have to go to our C major scale, which is on the eighth fret. Okay, so we know we need the root, which is C. We need the third, one, two, three. That's E. We need the fifth, one, two, three, four, five. That's G. So we know our C major chord is made up of the C as the root, E as the third, and G as the fifth. So let's find those up here in first position so we can play a C major chord as an open chord. So the way you do that, you put your third finger on the third fret of the A string, just like that. Make sure you keep your fingers on your tips. That's our C, that's our root note. Then we're going to put our second finger on the second fret of the D string. That's an E, so that's our third. Then we're going to play the G string open for our fifth interval. There we have our triad, the three notes we need for a C major chord. We're going to add some to it to make it fuller. We're going to play our first finger on the first fret of the B string. That's our C again, our root note. And then we're going to play the high E string too to repeat our third. That is our C major chord in an open position. This one's kind of tough to get used to. You really got to arch your fingers, find a good place for your thumb that's comfortable. Make sure you check it, that you're getting all the strings to sound out. The one that's going to be tough probably is this, this E, the high E string. You got to make sure your first finger is really arched and on your fingertips. Just kind of play around with that, arpeggiate it, make sure you're getting all the notes to sound out. Try strumming down strokes, quarter notes. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, that's your C major chord. Okay, now let's take a look at A minor. So, uh, A minor, so the root's gonna be A. So, we're gonna take our A major scale to find these notes. We know the formula is root, flat third, and fifth. So take our A major, it starts on the fifth fret on the low E string. Okay, so we got our root as A. There's our third, but we got to flat it. So flat third, back a half step, that's a C. So we got an A for the root, a C for the flat three. And our fifth is right there, and that's an E. So for an A minor chord, we have A, C is our third, our flat third, and E is our fifth. So now let's find where we can play that as an open chord. So we're going to use our open A string as the root. Our second finger on the second fret of the D string. That is going to be our fifth, that's our E. Then we're going to put our third finger on the second fret of the D string. That's our octave again, our A. Then we're going to put our first finger on the first fret of the B string, and that gives us our C, our minor third. And then we can also play the high E string again to repeat the fifth. Just arpeggiate that a couple times. Make sure you're getting all the notes to sound out. And strum it a couple times. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, now on these two chords, you'll notice we're not hitting the low E string. Um, even though in a C major chord, 
you have an E. That was our, uh, my, uh, it's our, our third, right? So we could play the low E string, that is a third. But it makes it sound kind of dirty. Just because it's, it's kind of low. You could technically, you could play it. Most people don't because it sounds a little cleaner when you don't play the third on the bottom like that. So basically we're playing our, you know, our first, second, third, fourth, and fifth strings, not playing the uh, low E string. Same goes for the A minor. Again, the E is the, uh, the fifth, but, you know, sometimes you might want to use it, but most, most of the time, you know, you kind of uh, omit playing that, the low E string on those two chords. Okay, so now you just want to practice going back and forth. Now this is a pretty easy transition because there's a lot of what, what I'd like to call shared fingers in these two chords. And this is something you want to look for when you're changing chords. It'll help you out. So, in a C major chord, we have our first finger on the first fret of the B string, and we have our second finger on the second fret of the D string. Now those two fingers are going to stay right there for an A minor. All we got to do is move our third finger to the second fret G string. So all you got to do is move that. You might have to slide your second finger back just a little bit to make room, but you don't really even need to pick your fingers up to go to the A minor. So just practice kind of going back and forth. Practice arpeggiate them. Make sure you got all the notes sounding out. Okay, you can practice playing a couple bars of each. One, two, three, four. 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 Again, for right now, we're doing all downstrokes with our right hand. Remember to kind of just keep your keep it kind of loose with your right hand. You don't need to be real stiff and totally pivoting from your elbow. Just kind of leave your wrist kind of loose. Okay, so we might, the, the, the other two chords we've learned, the G major and the E minor, might have some shared fingers as well. So, let's take a look. So, uh... G, G major and E minor share a shared finger, your first finger. So when you go from G major to E minor, you don't have to move your first finger. Just leave it right there, maybe slide it back a hair. So if you keep those things in mind, it'll make it easier when you're transitioning smoothly from one chord to the next. Okay, so now I want you to practice playing, just practice your smooth transitions from all four of the chords that you know so far. And I'll see you in the next lesson.